Hey guys, today I'll be doing an unboxing and review of a little known knockoff Sea Monkey product called Real Life Mermaids. I picked this set here up off eBay a few months back for 20 US dollars, though to be honest, it's probably not even worth that. But this is a discontinued product which has been off the market for a few years now, and I really wanted to nab it so that I could make this video for you guys. Real Life Mermaids were produced by Magic Time International, a Hong Kong based toy company and were sold at Walmart in 2018 for a retail price of $23. They really are a copycat product of sea monkeys in almost every way though. From the packaging to the tank design, and of course with the concept of keeping brine shrimp as pets. The main difference is the way that they're marketed, with them using illustrations of mermaids and an overall pink theme targeting this product towards young girls. If you thought the sea monkey character illustrations were misleading, just imagine expecting to see cute little mermaids in your tank and ending up with brine shrimp. The packaging for this product uses the same format as the old on card style sea monkey ocean zoo and marine zoo tanks. Up top we have the words real life mermaids, real life playful pets. Coming down on the right we have a yellow feeding spoon, the three packets needed to start our colony and of course the plastic tank to keep our mermaids in. The mermaid illustrations on here are fairly generic and a little uninteresting, but I fully understand that I'm definitely not the target audience for this product, and I kind of get the feeling that it was just produced to make a quick buck. The three mermaids in the tank insert also remind me a lot of the Powerpuff Girls, with their blonde, ginger and black hair. Flipping over to the back, and we get a little more info about how this cat works and what it comes with. In the middle is the picture of the tank, with the angelic mermaid swimming about inside. On the right hand side we can see the three packets, which I'll look at in more detail once we open this up. It also says that this kit includes everything we need to hatch live mermaids. Over on the left are some simple instructions for starting the tank. Again, a clear copy of sea monkeys with the three step process. Something really funny I noticed down the bottom here is that it says, illustration is fanciful, does not depict Artemia Nios. Now, Artemia Nios is a marketing term that was used by TransScience for their specific strain of sea monkeys. It's not an officially recognized scientific binomial name, which is another clear indication that this is a direct copy of sea monkey packaging. Alright, so after five years of waiting, I think it's time we open these up and bring these mermaids to life. First up we have some instructions which were inside the tank. The front has them in picture form, and on the back they're written out in more detail. These definitely look familiar though, and that's because they're a complete ripoff of this old sea monkey instruction sheet. You can see that they're almost identical. It's like they're not even trying to hide it at this point. We also have a yellow feeding spoon, which has a small scoop at one end, and the words Real Life Mermaids on the handle, which is a nice touch. The three packets in here are labelled A, B and C. The water cleaner, mermaid eggs, and mermaid food. And now here's the tank. The design clearly takes inspiration from the well-known Sea Monkeys Ocean Zoo tank. It's a similar shape, and also has its characteristic magnifying bubbles on the sides. For a knockoff product, the quality actually seems decent. It's nice hard plastic, and looks to serve as a good home for the Artemia. The pink base has an ocean floor texture, and flares out quite wide, which will provide some good stability to prevent the tank being easily knocked over. The lid up top is dome shaped and has the Real Live Mermaids logo on the front. Up top there are plenty of small air holes for air circulation, which is always really good to see. The bottom of the tank has a slightly textured substrate, which will increase the surface area a little and will hopefully help out with algae growth. Overall the tank gives off a really good first impression, which I guess is to be expected when you copy a well established product. Let's get it set up. This process works essentially the same way it does with sea monkeys. We start off by adding in around 300 mils of distilled water. There's a handy fill line on the left hand side, so it's not necessary to measure it out first. Next up we need to add in packet A, the water cleaner. Looking in here, I can't see anything but salts, so it seems that unlike sea monkeys, the first packet here doesn't actually contain any sneaky eggs. It looks like there's some dark blue dye in here too, but it doesn't seem to be changing the tank water colour considerably. The instructions say I'm now supposed to wait 24 hours before adding in packet B, which is the mermaid eggs. If you're using distilled water, I don't actually think the 24 hour wait time is necessary, so I'm going to go right ahead and pour it in now. This packet looks to be mostly salt again, but I can see a whole lot of little brown brine shrimp eggs in here. I scooped a little out using the feeding spoon so you can see how it looks. 
It's important to make sure you pour in the entire contents of this packet to make sure you get all of the eggs into the tank. Since there are a lot of salts in these two pouches, I'm going to use a Sea Monkey Aqua Leash to stir up the water and make sure that all of the salt crystals are well dissolved. It looks like this set has come with a lot of eggs because I can see a whole lot floating up at the surface and dispersed throughout the tank. Hopefully we get a decent hatch rate despite these eggs being 5 years old. For the next few weeks, I'm going to keep the tank on this windowsill in my lounge where they'll get plenty of indirect sunlight that will help them to hatch and grow. As always I'll be using both a small USB air pump and mini USB aquarium heater to help with their development. The air pump will give them a steady supply of oxygen and the heater will keep the temperature both warm and stable. I'll also be using these purple grow lights to help promote algae growth in the tank. In my experience, algae growth is the single most important element for a tank's long term success. I'll leave an Amazon link for all of these accessories in the video description for you guys. I'll check back in with you in a few days to see if anything's hatched. Hey guys, it's been a little over 3 days and I have some great news. I can now see a bunch of mermaid babies swimming around in the tank. I was a little worried that the eggs wouldn't be viable after sitting around for so many years, but it seems that they were fine. It still amazes me that brine shrimp are able to remain in their biologically dormant diapause state for so long. It's truly an incredible adaptation. I recently got some new objectives for my microscope and I really want to test them out, so let's put one of these guys on a microscope slide and take a closer look. Here we are at 150 times optical zoom, and you can see that the baby mermaid is looking really healthy. All of its legs appear to be moving well and energetically. Alright, let's get it back into the tank. I still need to wait a couple more days before their first feeding though, so I'll check back in with you then. It's now been 5 days since these baby mermaids hatched, and the 30 or so babies in here seem to be growing well. Today it's time to feed them for the first time from packet C, the mermaid food, using the small yellow feeding spoon. The food is a light yellow colour, which indicates to me that it's most likely yeast based. It looks like there are some salt granules in here too. I decided to put a small amount under the microscope to get a better look, and I noticed a bunch of brine shrimp eggs mixed in there with the food too which is a sneaky way of keeping the population going, even if conditions are less than ideal. The instructions say to feed them one level scoop of this mermaid food, and I'll continue with these weekly feedings for the next month or so until they're fully grown. I'll check back in with you then, to see how the mermaids have grown, and to give you my final review and thoughts on this kit. Hey guys, so it's been about 5 weeks since we set this tank up, and the mermaid colony has become well established. Now, if you thought calling brine shrimp sea monkeys was a stretch, this kit really takes things to a whole new level. I'm sorry to say that these little crustaceans don't really resemble mermaids in the slightest. But here we are, around 10 of them have made it to adulthood, and just today I noticed the first pairs mating. To be honest, my experience with this tank over the last month has been surprisingly good. For a knockoff kit, the quality and design of the tank is actually pretty great, though I guess when you just go ahead and copy another well established product, it's not too difficult to make something decent. The plastic is nice and thick, so it's weighty enough that it never felt like it was going to fall over too easily, and I really like the nice wide stable base. The food that came with this kit seemed to work ok too, but I also fed the mermaid some live algae from time to time, just to help it start growing in the tank. It doesn't really appear to have established too well in there yet though, I'm not sure if this is because the bottom substrate is too smooth, or if the algae just needs a little more time. My main criticism of this tank, other than the obvious copying of the Sea Monkeys Ocean Zoo, is the annoying magnifying bubbles that are on both sides of the tank. It really distorts the view of the mermaids as they swim around, and for me, it kind of ruins the viewing experience altogether. Overall, I think this is a good kit though, but I'm unsure why it's no longer sold. Perhaps it struggled to compete in a saturated market where there was already a pre-existing product that had been doing the same thing really well for a long time. The only point of difference that real life mermaids really has over sea monkeys is its aggressively feminine marketing with the pink mermaid theme. It's a bit of a shame that it's no longer around though, because competition in the market always favours the consumer. Luckily, there are a few other brine trump products from other brands still being sold, such as Aqua Dragons, Marine Monsters and Hydro Pets, just to name a few. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see reviews of any of these products on the channel in the future, and I'll catch you in the next one.